I'm Claudia St. John. I'm the president of Affinity HR Group, and I'm here to wish you a very happy Valentine's Day. Did you know that 58% of employees have engaged in some kind of workplace romance over their career? And of those over 50 years of age, 72% report having been romantically involved with a coworker. Those are amazing statistics. Of that, also 41% of employees don't know their company's policy regarding office romances, and 64% of those in a workplace relationship keep their romances a secret. Given those statistics, it's probably likely that that's happening at your workplace. So just to take all of the fun and joy out of Valentine's Day, I wanna talk about appropriate policies to have in place in the eventual eventuality that somebody ends up falling in love at work. There are two policies that I'd like you to consider. One is the fraternization policy or a consensual relationship policy. This goes in your employee handbook and it basically establishes the rule for the rules of the road that those in a consenting relationship will still adhere to the company's policies around harassment, discrimination, things of that sort. It also establishes that those who feel like they're being disadvantaged because of that relationship have an appropriate remedy or place to go in order to have a conversation about how that relationship might be affecting them at work. At all costs, you want to make sure that those two consenting adults do not report to one or the other, and if they do, to consider a reassignment of duties so that the relationship does not get in the way of business performance. Once you find out that you do have a couple working for you at work, you may want to consider a consensual relationship agreement. This is an agreement that both parties sign that, that acknowledge that the relationship is consensual, that acknowledge that the rules of the organization around harassment and discrimination and other workplace policies apply, what is appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work, the repercussions for violating those policies, which often include uh, reprimand, uh, suspension, or terminate, up to including termination. It usually is the responsibility of the higher ranking employee to bear the burden of any workplace um, action that might be necessary as a result of that, of that relationship. Finally, it basically releases the company from any liability as a result of that relationship. So leave it to me to take all of the joy out of the day of love of Valentine's Day. But given the fact that so many people are meeting and finding love at work, we want to make sure that they are safe, that their co-work co-workers are safe, and that the organization is not jeopardized by that relationship. So if you have any questions or would like some sample policies around that, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Contact at affinityhrgroup.com. And I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day and that you have a safe and productive work week. Take care.